Hello everyone, I just want to walk you through the ways to backup uh, using, in this case, SyncBack Pro. This can be used in any sort of backup software as long as it backs up the actual files and not a proprietary uh, format. So you have um, basically two parts. You have the complete backup itself and you have the redundancy part. The complete backup has uh, three sections going from uh, the top part to the bottom, exactly like cleaning. So you have the cloud, the network on your local network and the local drives. All of them are groups, which is basically a way to run processes at once and also define the order, etc. So in the cloud, you have Gmail mirroring so basically deleting if you deleted anything in the source and copying uh, to the destination if something is in the source and not in the destination it will copy if something is in the destination and not in the source it will delete from the destination so that takes the gmail every email and copies it to my uh, gmail folder secondly you have my google drives which is basically my personal drive uh, already syncs. So it goes from my synced folder, uh, that's the user folder, to um, another Google Drive. This is a backup Google Drive. So from the web to the folder and from the folder to the web, this is using uh, the native backup and sync software. Um, so that's my personal drive backup. Both of them are under 15 GB, so the storage is free. Um, Noah, Noah, that's my work uh, folder. So from the work folder to um, my local uh, backup drive, basically if something is deleted in the cloud, I can resync it. Um, and if, for example, you're migrating a user and you wanna make sure <laughs> his whole data doesn't get deleted from the drive. That's a great option. Um, and lastly is my college uh, account. So basically I'm in charge of the shared drives of all, uh, you know, homework and things that's, that gets shared uh, with students. So that's unlimited obviously. So from the drive, to a local backup. So meaning everything, everyone has editing privileges. So if they delete something from the drive, I can resync it because they want them to be able to add, but I don't want them to be able to remove. And from, because I know this drive eventually will get deleted, I back it to another drive. Um, so this is my school drive and this is a backup Google Drive I just opened. So from school to local and from local to a backup drive, this will be shared after this account doesn't exist anymore. So that's the cloud. On my local network, I have my MacBook, which is basically treated as a network PC. So from the network location, copies it to a local location. In my Xiaomi, which is my phone, for him, I uh, I use backup because I basically organize all the files and delete everything I want to be deleted. So I just add. So I back up my camera photos and screenshot. The reason is I back up also with Google Photos, but I don't want the files to be stored in non-original quality and I don't want to pay extra for the privilege of storing it in original quality. So Google Photos would be reduced quality and this would copy um, original quality. Screenshots, the same thing. I don't want screenshots getting copied to the Google thing because there isn't a good way to sort them by folders. So for that one, I use the Syncbuck Touch uh, app on my phone. So cloud network, and then you go, everything here, as you can see, goes O2D, O2C, which is, so cloud and network go to local. So here I back up my local drives in a mirror, 
So the exact file gets copied uh, to my backup drive. And you can see I use the same directories because I want to keep it organized. So everything goes to the local. So now I have everything backed up in drive E. And I then I take drive E and then I take care of the redundancy. So meaning if the backup drive fails, together with the computer, I want more assurance that my files will be safe. So first of all, I copy, I have less than one terabyte and I'm a student. So I have one drive in Google Drive free and I have a fast internet connection. So I copy everything in E, that's almost a terabyte, to OneDrive and to Google Drive. I back up my from E to my network drive, which is attached to my uh, router. Um, so that copies it to a network location, the exact same method I use with my MacBook Pro. And external drive, which is basically, okay, so E is a drive that's actually inside a computer. Uh, I can disconnect it um, using a button. Um, but it's still inside a computer. So E is an external drive that I keep in a separate location and I back uh, once a month uh, to E. And so I back up, like I back up once a month unless I do any major change. So if I organize folders or if I came back from shooting a video project and I need the files to be backed up before I work, I'll back them up. Um, but otherwise it will be once a month or every time I feel like it. Some backups like X Network Drive, because it's attached to the network can back up uh, automatically once a change is detected. Um, and when a change is detected, the drive will start working. It's also protected with credentials. So meaning if someone, let's say, hacked to the computer, he doesn't have access to, let's say, to those two, because those two are uh, logged in in the computer, those two are not. So that's basically it. I'm using a uh, SyncBack uh, Pro 9.4 version, which is the latest currently. Um, and that's the methodology behind backup. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below. Have a great day.